Hello, I'm Richie from PlayStation Country and I'm taking a look at FIFA 15 on the PlayStation 4. So this is EA's uh, long-running football series and uh, I've been playing these games since about 1997 which you wouldn't know because at the moment this is me playing as Real Madrid against Fulham a game that ended up being nil-nil so lol at me so what do you get for your money well as ever you do get the most complete simulation of football available on the market at the moment um, the downside is is that of course this is pretty much just FIFA 14 with a couple of tweaks um, updated player rosters and uh, well they have added all of the Premier League grounds now um, which is great if you support a Premier League team I do for a limited time only so I get to bask in the glow of um, Loftus Road being there which is all very nice won't be there next year though eh? bloody hell in terms of on the pitch you know not much changes uh, from one year to the next with FIFA in fact I'm really coming to this version from having played um, the World Cup game uh, that they did um, on the 360 and in terms of the core mechanics not much has changed um, I haven't had to adapt to my playing style a whole lot um, you know all the controls are exactly as they were all of the action is pretty much as you remember it and the problem there is that they really did get the gameplay sorted back during Euro 2008 that tie-in for me was the last really big revolution in the series and uh, since then they've kind of been coasting which is fair enough because there's not really much you can add to the game of football apart from that bloody goal good lord I hope QPR do that on Saturday can't see it though anyway so what you get in terms of gameplay is your usual collection of modes offline um, the main modes are really your career uh, ones so you've got player career where you either create a new player or use an existing one and you've just got to build them up um, as you can see here as this guy scores this goal he gets a little stat boost on his finishing and it's kind of like a nice little RPG mechanic in a weird way uh, you know you develop your player by just doing things on the pitch it's all very natural it's been around for a while though it's nothing new there's also a managerial career mode which is kind of like football manager light you buy players you pick your formations and then you send them off uh, to play their matches um, you know it's quite enjoyable but again nothing new you've also got your training mode which is basically a collection of mini games these have been around for a while in the series as well but they're good fun to play uh, pretty addictive you get to work on your shooting your dribbling passing uh, all aspects of the game um, which is pretty handy and uh, you get to challenge your friends not with crappy he attempts at headers like that of course the majority of FIFA fans are really in it for the online play as you'd expect and the netcode and the servers are as good as ever um, my recommendation is that you play with friends because the randoms online are always pricks and they, that will never change um, but you know you do sometimes find decent people who play fair and you know don't just use cheap tactics and keep you waiting around in menus those people are to be cherished so um, yeah you might want to add them to your uh, friends list as soon as possible and of course you've got the ultimate team mode um, which isn't what's going on here here I'm just going through hairstyles just for the hell of it but ultimate team is uh, if you didn't already know is where basically EA makes all their money uh, the idea is that you put together a team of players you want to get people from the same actual club sides or people from the same nationalities so that you've got better chemistry and it's all about just finding the right players to match your formation and that kind of thing is pretty addictive the only problem is is that um, players cost in-game currency uh, which is earned slowly by playing you know matches and tournaments or you can spend real money and you know buy a digitized version of Lionel Messi for like God knows how much and unfortunately people will do that so it's a little bit pay to win um, so you, and you might want to avoid it you know it has got a little bit of an addictiveness to it um, I kind of got bored of it a couple of years ago so I'm not really going to be dabbling that much this time around but you know if you love Ultimate Team it's in there yet again overall this is a great game um, you know it's FIFA it's the best FIFA so far looks fantastic on the PS4 with uh, a real incredible attention to detail um, you can really express yourself on the pitch and I love that so overall it is a fantastic game in terms of scoring it it's kind of a seven because it really is just FIFA 14 with some tweaks 
um, make of that what you will. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Um, come and check us out at PlayStationCountry.com for more PS4 and Vita reviews. And have a lovely day. Bye-bye.